Hello, I'm Jesse, and a little while ago I made a video about the Easy Flash Junior, and now I want to talk a little bit about its save functionality, because if you're not careful, you can run into problems. The first thing I want to mention is that the Easy Flash Junior does not have save states. It only lets you save in games that have a built-in save function. You can't save wherever you want, and you can't save in games that don't have that save function. But like I said, it does support games that have a save feature. It also lets you backup those saves and copy them from other places. Like say you started playing a game on an emulator and want to keep playing on original hardware. So let's see how it works with Pokemon Blue. I'm going to use my Easy Flash Junior for this because it's easier to film. If you want to know more about it, you can check this video out. Your Easy Flash Junior might not work with the FPGBC right out of the box. I also have a video showing how to upgrade the Easy Flash Junior so that it does work. As you can see, there's no save yet, so I'll start a new game. I'm gonna go with blue. And my rival will be red. I always like the shrinking animation. Alright, now let's go and save all that progress. Now, this is where you can run into problems. As far as I know, right now, the save is just stored in the cartridge's RAM, and not on the SD card. That's a bit risky, because the save will be lost if the RAM loses power. Fortunately, the Easy Flash Junior cartridge has a battery in it to keep that from happening. But if that battery is dead, and you turn off the Game Boy, then you could lose your save. This is actually how original cartridges work too, so if you have an old cartridge with precious saves on them, you might want to consider backing them up. I have a video explaining how to do that. Once they're backed up, you'll probably want to replace the battery too. You can check out this video to see how to do that. To get the save data backed up onto the SD card, you have to restart the Game Boy. When the Easy Flash Junior boots, it'll ask you if you want to back up your save. If you say no, then the save is lost. If you say yes, then it'll copy the save from the RAM to the SD card. If it's the first time you're doing this for a game, then it could take a little while. If you don't want to do that every time you boot up your Game Boy, you can go over to the settings by pressing the select button, and then down to auto save, and press A to turn it on. Now every time the Easy Flash Junior boots, it'll back up automatically. This is also where you set the real time clock's time for the Easy Flash Junior. Now that it's done backing up, you can go and put the SD card into a computer and get to the save files to copy it over to another device. The save files are stored in the saver directory. You don't have to create this directory yourself. The Easy Flash Junior will make it for you. The save files have the same name as the ROM files that they came from. Also, it ignores any directory structure you might have. So if you have a ROM file in the root directory and the same ROM in a subdirectory, they'll use the same save file. You can have multiple save files for the same game by having multiple copies of the ROM file with different names. You can also copy save files from other places. This one is backed up from the Pokemon Red cartridge that my daughter's playing with. And you can use them on the Easy Flash Junior, as long as the save file's name matches the ROM that you want to play with. Well, that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching. Bye!